In 2021, at the Brussels Summit, NATO adopted a climate change and security action plan. In that plan, it had four pillars of adaptation, awareness, mitigation, and outreach. And the Center for Maritime Research and Experimentation naturally fits into these four pillars. The NATO Science and Technology Organization already has a significant program of science and technology to help our leaders understand the defense implications of climate change. At the Center for Maritime Research and Experimentation, uh, research is already measuring the impact of climate change in the high north. It's also got a visiting research program uh, to bring on new talent in the area of climate change. And it has um, analysis tools for handling the very significant amounts of data that climate change research uh, generates. Um, Canada is also leading uh, work to identify new collaborative opportunities for the nations in uh, climate change, defence and security. So the Science and Technology Organisation does have a significant amount of scientific and technical work on the area of climate change.